Hello again, everybody. And this event is just for our students who are currently at in year 11 at different schools all around Nottinghamshire and parents and indeed any year 11 students who might be watching this who haven't applied to the Minster School sick form but are interested in doing so. So. I thought I would start by showing you an image of our big welcome that we do to our sick form applicants, which is our sick form induction. And this year it's scheduled for Thursday, the 1st of July and Friday, the 2nd of July. And we're really hoping we can have a fantastic event and see you all there uh, just like we did the year before last year. And as you can see, there's lots of prospective sick formers there in our lovely open hot space of the main part of our school. Um, enjoying lots of activities and uh, learning preparation for what's going to be a really, really exciting start in September. However, we do realise that if you're joining us for the first time and you've not been through our lower school years, it can be a tiny bit daunting, a tiny bit uh, even nerve wracking when you don't know anybody, you perhaps don't even already have uh, friends at the school. And that's why we're here this afternoon, because we want to especially uh, welcome you and show you how important you are to our school community. I should say at this point that um, you please do use the uh, live question and answer because I have got a couple of my colleagues who are answering any questions that you might have and they will do that almost instantly, instantly for you. Um, if you just uh, um, ask any question uh, in the chat and it could be anything at all to do with the Minster School, uh, the sick form, it could be to do with subjects. You might be thinking, well, I want to come to the sick form. I've applied to the sick form, but I'm a little bit unsure about uh, transport or I'm a little bit sure about this subject or grades to get in. Um, things that I might not be mentioning right now as I'm talking to you, but that facility is uh, there for you. So the picture you see on your screens right now is just to try and give you some reflection of what our school sick form is all about, the community feel of our sick form, where um, our students are really, really engaged in doing lots and lots of different activities. Of course, we are an academic school. I mean, you can see from our logo down there that we're all about great results in our sick form, but it's not just the fantastic achievement of our students that counts. It's everything else that our students do to become what we call the whole student, the rounded sick former, the student that gets involved in lots of different activities, be it part of a group or leadership activities um, that really gives us that community feel and we think gives us that edge um, and makes us um, a special sick form and a really great place to be. We are a large sick form. We have about 360, 370 students in both years. And so that means a year group could be close to 200 students. And what you see there is from the year before last year. And uh, sometimes we do uh, fun activities with a whole year group together. And it's a really uh, amazing atmosphere when we're able to get our whole year group um, together um, uh, doing certain things, but it, at other times it might be in uh, with tutors and it might be much smaller, uh, much smaller sessions. I kind of like that picture because it reminds me of the times that we had uh, before the uh, pandemic ever, ever came. OK, so. Our school, not just the sick form, is about succeeding together. I've mentioned that word with uh, community to you already, and it's very much an important part of our sick form here. And you, as applicants, as new starters to our school, are really, really important to us. And um, we really value our students that join us um, for the first time in September, and you're very, very much part of um, our motto, um, which is succeeding together and what we call wisdom, optimism, resilience, kindness 
and service. And we want to show you that kindness and we want you joining us with optimism. So it's possible that since you've applied uh, to join our school, or if you haven't yet applied, but you're watching this, that you um, would still like to find out more. And the best place to do that is to go to our school website. And um, I'll also make this PowerPoint I'm sure that you can see right now available um, in the chat. So you can uh, click on the link if you don't want to go via the school website straight to our 2021 sit form prospectus and in the prospectus you've got summaries of all the different subjects that we offer here and also the grade entry requirements in order to study those subjects for a level so if i was to give you a summary and tell you about our unique experience of of coming here and hopefully um, you're excited about that too because that's why uh, you're interested and that's why you're watching this is that we do think we have a distinct offer for you and we do think we give you that whole well-rounded experience um, not just the great teaching and learning but also the other things that we offer too particularly uh, tutorial and our personal support that we give to our students and uh, the great record that we have of progression from the sick form because for the vast majority of students, you're only here for two years and your transition is very important because year 12 is a lot different to year 11 and you need a lot of support with that. But also we're working towards making sure you get the right outcome, the right destination at the end of that two year journey. And that's your progression. And that's very, very important to us too. And um, on the next slide, I'll show you a little bit about that. Of course, we have lots and lots of extracurricular activities that you can um, be involved in if you're uh, part of the sick form and almost all of our students do, as well as leadership opportunities, which are so important, both for your confidence, your abilities, your wider skill levels and helping you after you've left them into school. So yeah, we do talk about great futures because that's very, very important. And the vast majority of our students go on to university and a proportion of our students, an increasing proportion of our students um, go on and do um, apprenticeships, but almost 100% of our students go on to a meaningful destination that is something that they want and something that they've planned for. And this is, um, and we're proud of this and we're proud of the preparation that we do in order to help you get there. So we have a sick form team and a setup that's here to um, give you all the support and help you need. Obviously myself as head of sick form, Mr. Samuels, but there's also Ms. Brailsford, our deputy director of post 16. There's Mrs. Darby, who's our post 16 pastoral assistant. And there's Ms. Toms, who's our sick form administrator. And Ms. Toms is really a first point of contact. She's, a, if you like, a, um, heads up our sick form reception and can provide a lot of that useful need to know information for you. Um, in fact, Ms. Thompson knows so much she's in the background being able to answer any questions in the chat that you might have. But it might be that um, you're interested in, you don't know about travel or You've never heard of the post 16 bursary, but you know it's something to do with money that you might be able to get or might not be able to. And Miss Toms will be able to advise you on that. Um, she'll be able to um, help you uh, resolve some attendance issues or anomalies that you might have and lots of other things also. Now, um, I promised Mrs. Darby that I'm not going to talk too much about um, her role, but she's got an absolutely essential role um, for our sick form uh, for our sick form students. And she's our sick form uh, pastoral assistant. She's not on the teaching staff and I'm going to move on to the next slide because she'll be able to introduce herself to you personally in just a short amount of time. So how are we able to do what we do? How are we able to 
um, offer so much with our sick form, offer students so many wider opportunities, um, but still be really, really academically focused. Well, we do have a study culture in the school. And um, what that means is that, yes, students are enjoying fun stuff, whether it's music or whether it's sport or whether it's mentoring, um, but also our students recognise that um, our, our learning is something to be valued, it's something to be cherished and that in the school and during the school day, outside of lunch times and break times, that there's a really, really purposeful atmosphere here. You can see our sixth form students um, are very constructive with how they use their own time and that's self-management. It's not something that comes straight away, something we help you with and we support you with to become independent learners. We do feel that that's a really, really central part to what we offer here at the Minster School Sick Form. You can see some pictures here of our students. Now these are not classrooms obviously, there's no uh, teacher present. These are private study areas for sick form students. What you see um, there is our sick form ICT suite. Unfortunately you won't have been able to see it in person because you won't have been able to uh, visit the school but it's an area where sick form students just go quietly, they just work in silence and they um, get their own learning done using those great facilities. Another smaller study space there. You will notice that our students are looking uh, nice and smart and they're wearing badges and lanyards. We do have a sick form dress code and our dress code is um, a smart dress code. Um, we will, if we haven't already, send out send out to you all um, our dress guidelines so you know what to wear and not what and what not to wear. More pictures here. And the room I'm going to show you next is uh, another sick form only study space where students can collaborate. They can talk about their work and their learning while in a relaxed atmosphere and not being supervised by any member of staff because we recognise that sick form students are older, they need a bit more responsibility and they need some more trust from us. So this is our sick form study space, sometimes gets nicknamed the Stroom by the students. And on the next slide, you'll see a picture of our sick form tutors. We have 13 sick form tutors. They're in specialist roles. What that means is they don't uh, sort of jump between uh, tutoring year sevens or year nines. They work specifically with year 12 and year 13 students. And they're with you from that journey at the start of year 12 right through to year 13. So they get to know you really well. They are supportive of you and they are skilled in giving you advice both in relation to managing your um, A level successfully, but in also thinking about what you're going to do in the future and how best you should go about it. So really, really good team. You'll have, all have your own personal tutor. OK, so to talk about progression and I wanted to put this in here because um, ultimately uh, your ambitions are to get that place at university or get that job that you want. And the things that employers and university uh, universities are looking for are also the things that we're really prioritizing. Your ability to work with others, your ability to communicate, your leadership, your initiative, your self-organization, your motivation. These things are really important to us and a big part of what we do here at the, here at the school as are leadership opportunities. And I won't talk too much about those, but there is a wealth of them and including subject ambassadors, associate tutoring that's supporting lower school tutors, sports leaders, Minster mentoring, uh, sick form council. And you see there a picture of our current head boy and head girl and elected important prestigious, prestigious role here in the school, which is elected and um, both by staff and by uh, representatives of our whole sick form body. And we have a kind of uh, honours board for them when they get elected because it's something that uh, we think is very important and our students do. So um, ultimately that all of these things lead into uh, your progression, your well-being, your happiness and leading on hopefully to great jobs 
or great university places. A couple of pictures there of, um, and we want to really get back to all the departments do this. We do this as a sick form, uh, take our students out, um, plenty of visits, plenty of trips, both domestically and abroad. The two uh, pictures you see there are just of uh, visits to Oxford and Cambridge University, and that was um, late 2019, early 2020. And we want to get back to those just as soon as we can. So a practical thing next, just in case any of you weren't sure how it actually worked out with your timetable. Um, you will do three A-level subjects here, but you will also do core maths and the extended project. You will have nine periods uh, every two weeks of one hour. You'll also have an um, enrichment or tutor hour once a fortnight where you'll follow um, a, a dedicated program of study, giving you those wider skills work that we think you really need. And there'll be time for one-to-ones too. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, wrap up now. I just want to um, uh, remind you that you can follow us and please do on our post 16 uh, Twitter account. There is one last thing that um, I wanted to mention to you that I should have mentioned uh, near the start, uh, which was and this is a new thing which we're really excited about that um, from September year 12 students, if you have a personal device, a personal laptop, a way of working that isn't the old school folder, pen or paper, you are going to be most welcome to bring that into lessons with you. And uh, and you can uh, use that because we're moving very, very uh, quickly towards adapting to the way that you prefer to work as young people and all the technological innovations that are making your student life easier. So what I'd like to do now is I'd like to just pause and ask you to go and have a look in the published in the published uh, questions. You'll see that I've put a link in there and then it, so it starts out four of our current year 12 students. So if you have a look on that in the published, what you're going to see is you're going to see a far, it's going to take you to a uh, one of our, our, YouTube, our Mr. School YouTube channel and you're going to see a five minute video of uh, our uh, four of our students who were in year 11 at different schools last year and they're talking to you about their experiences of joining the Minster School year 12 this year. So it's a really good watch. It's only five minutes. And so I'm going to go on hold now and then coming back. It's not going to be me. It's going to be Mrs. Darby, who's just going to introduce herself and talk for a couple of minutes to you. And I'm going to come back right at the very end just to say goodbye to you all. Thank you very much. And I'm just going to pop you on hold while you watch that student video. Hi, I'm Josh. Uh, I joined uh, the Minster Sixth Form in September 2020 from uh, the Brunts Academy. Um, I decided to join Southwell Minster Sixth Form because I'd heard brilliant reviews about everything here and I also saw the results from their Sixth Form as I wanted to achieve uh, the best I possibly could. Since joining Minster, in um, 2020 i've been given a lot of opportunities for example mince minster mentoring or sports leaders and being part of the head team this is all getting me involved in lower school and getting me used to the environment environment that i'm in um, since joining i felt very very welcomed by both staff and students and i'm very thankful for that as i've settled in brilliantly and it's been like I've been here for, well, since year seven. Hi, I'm Ella. I joined the Minster in September 2020 from New York Academy. Um, originally, I transferred because I wanted to do politics and I was really impressed by the range of courses South will have to offer. Sadly, my old school didn't do politics and so I moved here. Um, I've never been made to feel so welcome so quickly by so many people and the standard of teaching is just incredible. But one of the things that really stood out to me was the um, support that they give you for post A-level opportunities, be that apprenticeships or university. Currently there's an Oxbridge scheme, 
and like I said, the range of opportunities you get through that are just amazing. It's specifically catered towards students who wish to go to highly selective universities, and so you get links to essay competitions, webinars, online lectures, and summer schools from different universities, all of the things that will boost your application. So I know that by the end of year 13, me and everybody else in this year will be able to apply to any course simply because Southwell puts us in the best position to be able to do so. So another great thing about Southwell is the opportunity that you get to be able to do EPQ, which is a separate qualification as alongside your 3A levels. And personally, I really enjoyed this. I felt that it gave me some kind of independence and freedom over my learning. And I know that when I go to university, I've developed critical thinking skills, essay writing skills, and everything that will help me get to the degree that I want to and eventually move on to the career that will really help me in life. Hi, my name's Beth and I came from the Brunts Academy, the same as Josh. Um, initially, all the teachers are so friendly and they tried really hard to get me on the courses that I wanted to do. Initially, I just made friends really quickly, really easily. All the students are so friendly and the staff are, as I've said, really helpful. So I found no trouble fitting in almost instantly in the first week. Um, when we were locked down though, it was kind of a different story because I didn't really know my friends well enough to properly talk to them and um, I'd kind of distanced myself from my Brunt's friends. So that was when I sought pastoral support from Mrs. Darby, who I had never met before. I'd never spoken to her whilst I was in school and straight away she was so helpful through the emails. She was really kind. Um, constantly checking up on me and making sure I felt okay throughout all of lockdown. Um, my tutor also spoke to me a lot, so even though I didn't have much time to get to know them properly, I found the help was always there, always extended to me if ever I needed it. Hi, I'm Leah and I previously went to Sir William Robinson Academy and I came to um, Minster School in September 2020 as they had a wide variety of subject choices because I wanted to take politics and my old school didn't offer that and also if you're coming on your own like I did and you don't have anyone else coming with you don't feel nervous or scared because everyone is very welcoming and it's such a friendly environment all the teachers are supportive and if you need any help or anything like that you can always go to your tutor and she'll give you any help also, I'd recommend getting involved in opportunities such as sports leadership or Minster Mentoring, which will take place when COVID's safer. Um, I currently do sports leadership and it's helped me make more friends as well because it's quite a small group of people and it allows you to get involved with everyone. And also it gives you an opportunity to put it onto your CV, which looks good in the future. Or even if you wanted to go to university as well, you could put that and link it to what you want to do when you're going to university. I'm really pleased I made the decision to come to Minster and I don't regret it at all and I think I've made lots of friends on the journey and I'd recommend coming. Hi everyone, I'm Mrs Darby, the Pastoral Support Assistant for the Sixth Form and I'm here at Minster School to support student wellbeing and progress. So during your time at the Sixth Form, you may come across times where you need some additional support, whether that's someone to talk to, um, you might feel overwhelmed, you have a question to ask, you don't know who to turn to for help, then I'm here to listen, give advice, liaise with teachers and parents as necessary, signpost additional services that may be appropriate. I meet with students on a one-to-one -one basis and that can be regularly um, every week, two weeks um, or just drop-in sessions. Um, I'll also work with you to maximise your attendance at lessons, provide support with time management, study skills and revision techniques to ensure that you achieve your full potential whilst you're studying at the Minster Sixth Form. I look forward to seeing you all in September and I'll now hand over to Miss Brailsford, who's the Deputy Director of Sixth Form. Hi everybody, like Mrs Darby said, my name's Ms Brailsford and I'm the Deputy Director of Post-16 Studies here at the Minster School. 
I'm really pleased that I'm um, part of the sixth form. I'm really proud of what we offer and what we achieve. We have a carefully constructed and deliberately designed tutor programme that we feel best meets the needs of both our year 12 and our year 13 students during their journey through us in the sixth form. It's designed carefully around three key pillars. These are post-16 study skills, transition into the sixth form and progression after the sixth form and leadership and enrichment. Here at Minster, we believe that um, the post-16 tutor, the sixth form tutor, is a key part of um, positive well-being for a student, successful progress and achievement. We place our students in small tutor groups that are led by a team of um, successful, experienced and specialist sixth form tutors who you will meet with regularly. Um, and like Mr Samuel said earlier on, alongside that, you will have a number of one to ones throughout your sixth form life um, where you have the opportunity to celebrate successes, um, share any concerns and worries and generate um, action points towards uh, making improvement and making things better. In terms of um, if we were meeting face to face, I'd encourage you to do a bit of self reflection now. So we're going to we're going to try something. I'm not sure how successful it will be, um, but you need to be open and honest with yourself. And I want you to rate yourself from one to ten in terms of confidence, with uh, ten being the highest and one being the lowest. And once you've given yourself a score, if you're sat near a parent or carer, it'd be interesting to see if they give you the the same score or if you're wildly different. So I'll just give you 30 seconds, just have a little bit of a think about that. So rating your own confidence on a score of one to 10 with 10 being the highest. The reason I ask you to do this is this is something we work um, on a lot with our sixth form students, particularly early on in September. Um, and we spend a lot of time helping students build their confidence and build uh, confidence building strategies. Um, and having spoken to current students, we get a lot of successful feedback. They tell us that we do this really well and they are finding themselves um, being more willing to contribute to discussion working lessons and um, being willing to uh, maybe ask a question or um, offer an answer to a question um, or being willing to um, um, apply for uh, an additional leadership role such as a prefect. So now you've done confidence, what about organisation? How organised are you? Um, remember, 10's the highest, 1's the lowest. Whatever, give, whatever you give yourself, if you're sat near a parent or carer or a sibling, ask them to do the same. Are your scores wildly different or are they pretty similar? Being a successful sixth former requires excellent time management skills and we help you with this through our tutor programme. We work um, very closely with the curriculum um, staff as well to ensure that this happens. Um, and the idea is that uh, we teach you how to best make use of your independent study lessons um, because they, are, uh, they play a significant role in terms of your um, overall achievement that you do. And the last one I want you to do is your involvement in enrichment, so extracurricular activities. If you get really involved in them and you're always willing to participate, give yourself a, a nine or a ten, less so um, towards the bottom end of the scale. And remember to make a comparison. The reason again I ask you to do this is we value these really highly at the Minster School. And like Mr Samuel said, we offer a range um, of different opportunities for you to get involved in. So there really is something for everybody. Um, and we've managed to keep up an extensive range this year, despite um, COVID-19 putting some restrictions in terms of um, bubbles and, and things like that. But we've been able to still offer Minster mentors, sports leaders, eco reps, You Give Uganda, which is um, our charity group, prefects. There's all sorts of things. And we believe that um, this adds something extra to you and um, it makes you stand out from the crowd. It helps you develop um, a wider range of skills alongside your academic achievements and it makes you part of our community and it helps you um, give back to the school as well. Um, I really do think that this is a, a great choice. Um, when my son's old enough, he's only eight at the moment, but when he's old enough, this is the sixth form that I would like him to join. I'm sorry we've not had the opportunity to meet in person, but I really, really look forward to the opportunity to do so. Um, I'm just going to hand back over now to Mr Samuels. Thank you ever so much. Hello again, everybody. Thank you very much, uh, Ms Browsford. Thanks to uh, Mrs Darby and also thanks to Ms Toms and Mr Wall who are in the background um, helping out with the questions that you're asking. Very grateful that you've been able to join us this afternoon and we're really looking forward to seeing you all on Thursday the 1st of July and Friday the 2nd of July and we hope because uh, sick form induction is in the uh, summertime all the restrictions uh, will be lifted and we'll be able to have as normal a sixth form induction as we possibly can. In the meantime, please don't hesitate to give us a call or drop us an email. Um, if there's anything that you'd like to know, 
Um, we um, do accept late applications, so there is a possibility that also that new um, applicants, if you haven't applied or you know somebody who hasn't applied to the sick form, there may be a place for you. Um, we're here to help. We want to welcome you. We want to integrate you You're very much part of our sick form. Thank you again for joining us and we'll keep the question and answer open for, for just a few minutes. But uh, before we um, end this, um, but for now, Thank you very much and we'll see you all soon. Goodbye and have a good evening.